Ahoy there, Legion. Most of you are still probably lethargic due to a turducken explosion on your dinner table, so we're giving you a soft topic that won't agitate your likely bulging belly. Today we got a request from Sniper Russo, who asks for the best place to farm Tier 3 keys outside of Lua. We're still gonna say it's Lua, but we'll tell you why in a minute. Survival and excavation missions share the same drop tables. Assuming you're still breathing, you passively get a reward every five minutes out of a survival. Extermination, on the other hand, speeds things up and you can fairly easily churn through those same rewards at twice the rate. The enemies scale far quicker as a trade-off, but you can run to extraction, reset the mission, and jump right back in while you'd still be waiting on your first rotation of survival's rewards. Okay, so both in terms of time and efficiency, efficiency, excavation takes the cake. The first and most ideal spot that can drop tier 3 keys is, oddly enough, the lowest leveled one, Lua. Because enemies start off at level 1, anyone can queue up and join in on one of these. No matter how many mods you have, or if you're still wearing your starter equipment, you can handle at least one full rotation without much difficulty. This is actually a great place to level up new equipment or frames, and if you want to power level a friend new to the game, this place works a lot better than, say, Satura. It might set the bar a bit high, though, so maybe stick to Apollodorus first, but that's another topic. Just like in defense or survival missions, the order of drops dictates what actually drops. So in this case, you're going to want to stay at least three fully complete excavations for a shot at a T3 key. If you can handle it okay and you want to marathon these, you're going to need to wait for the rotation to lap you. So from that point on, every four full excavations. If the turkey's still making your eyes glaze over here, that basically means to keep an eye out on every third, seventh, eleventh, 15th, 19th, etc. In terms of min-maxing, that's pretty much the end of it. Lua's a popular location, it's easy, the mobs are plentiful, so you'll get a ton of affinity and earth materials, but after camping the same tile set for a while, you might get a wee bit burned out. They won't be as efficient, but you do got other options, Legion. Egate Venus is now one of them. It is a different tile set, and even a different enemy faction, but it only seems to want to drop tier 1 keys. Which only taunts and teases us like a table covered in dessert when the stomach's already at full capacity. But if you're like me, you don't let minor things like limitations and self-loathing get in the way of dessert. So fellow corpus killing lovers out there, rejoice. You still got Triton on Neptune as an option. Already a long popular spot for rare cores, it still has a chance at tier 3 keys, so you can double dip for both if you like. There are no real infested options unless you want to wait around in a survival. But the Earth Dark Sector excavation on Tikal is a bit different. This is basically a New Game Plus version of Lua. So if you don't mind the same setup but you want to bump up the difficulty a smidgen right out of the E-Gates, this is the place for you. The rest of the options are solidly in the 20 plus territory and by then you're probably wanting to farm up tier 4 keys instead. Luckily, we got a guide on them too. We'll put a link in the description as well as on the banner dealie on the side of the screen for you. Again, this does come down to RNG, but the more rotations you complete, the more likely you'll get one. Such is the way of Warframe, as we all know. May your T3 key drops be frequent, and your connection to the host remain stable. If this guide helped you out or put a smile on your face, we'd be honored if you'd like, favorite, and share this video with your fellow Tenno. We always appreciate it when he does. If you have any questions or suggestions of your own, own, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, thank you for watching, and catch you next time, Legion. Take care.